Hello again, time for another couple six alignment bite. In this bite, we're going to look at the extremely useful step five feature we call bolt bound, which allows you to change foot combination in the move screen to overcome the annoying problem of running out of adjustment room. So what do we mean by bolt bound? Well, let's say the move screen tells you you have to move the motor another 28 thousandths of an inch to get it in tolerance, but you realize it won't move anymore. What do you do? Well, you can either go back to the crib and get a whole bunch of equipment to try to widen the bolt holes, which will take hours of extra work, or you can let Couple 6 do the work for you. Just tap the Home button to go to the main menu and then tap the Step 1 icon. Next, click on the bolt bound icon so you can enter the driven unit ENF dimensions. After entering the dimensions, click on the Home button and then go back to Step 5. There, select the bolt bound horizontal screen from the View menu, and now you can see both the pump and the motor on the same screen with move value displays for both sets of feet. Notice there are lock icons over the pump's feet, which means Couple 6 will not calculate the shims for those feet. To change a foot combination, just click on the lock icon to unlock the foot, then pick another foot and click the question mark to lock it instead. Once two feet are locked, the move values are automatically recalculated to align the motor. You can use any combination of motor and pump feet to see which of the move values will align the motor without having to move the motor in the direction it is bolt bound. Once you have the combination that works, you can use the live display values and motor graphics to align the motor. Finally, if you find you have a similar problem with the shims, you can also use the bolt bound screen for the vertical axis by clicking the view menu and selecting the bolt bound vertical screen. Well, that's it for now. See you on our next alignment bite. Thanks for listening.